Hi, I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. In this video, I'm doing a full overview of Drone Deploy, what it is, how to use it, and whether or not it's worth signing up for. So what is Drone Deploy? As simple as possible, Drone Deploy is a mapping and 3D modeling software. It's an incredibly powerful tool, and you can see the end result gives you options for a high resolution 2D map, a really cool 3D model, and an option to view plant health, and even a map with elevation data. You can see all the 2D mapping models have tools for marking locations, calculating distances, calculating areas, and even calculating volumes using the mapping and elevation data. Drone Deploy provides some awesome examples for using these tools. They got mapping data from a construction site and demonstrated using the tools for calculating the dimensions and volume of an oil drum column. They also have a pin highlighting the location of facility equipment, another volume measurement of a stockpile, and a highlighted path calculating the distance from the road to the stockpile. So again, what Drone Deploy has created is an incredibly powerful mapping and 3D modeling software with the ideal use cases in the construction and agriculture industries. So how does all of this work? Basically, what you're doing is you're using Drone Deploy to pre-program a flight path, and then you're going to the location and sending your drone on a fully automated flight. To be honest, the process couldn't be simpler. First, you create an account and download the Drone Deploy application. The controls are identical across the web version and the app version of Drone Deploy, so you can set your mission up from either your computer or your phone. First, click or tap on the plan, add a flight in the top left corner. The map will zoom in on your current location and highlight a box with some green lines. The blue box is the area you want to map, and the green lines are the flight path for your drone. If you're at the location you want to fly over, you can begin adjusting the dimensions of the box. Otherwise, you can search for a location by clicking on the search icon in the top right corner. Give your plan a name and then adjust the dimensions of the box. Drone Deploy will give you the time it will take to complete the flight, the number of acres you've highlighted, the distance each pixel in a photo will represent, and how many batteries the flight will take. You can see this information change as you adjust the altitude of the flight, which most noticeably will change the resolution of your map. You can also customize the flight direction, which you can see directly impacts the flight time. Clicking on Advanced opens up more settings, where you can customize the side lap and front lap of the photos, the maximum flight speed, and the starting waypoint. I suggest leaving these at their defaults. One thing I do want to mention is adjusting the starting waypoint not only changes where the drone starts, but it also cuts off some part of the map. The drone will not fly along the dotted green lines, and you will lose that mapping data. After you have adjusted the settings to your satisfaction, you can click or tap on the blue save icon in the bottom right hand corner. Now your flight plan is saved, and you're ready to take your drone out on location. In terms of flying your drone and recording all the pictures you need, it's a fairly straightforward process. Simply do everything as you normally would, but launch the Drone Deploy application instead of the DJI GO app. Your drone should automatically be connected to the Drone Deploy application, but if for some reason it doesn't, you can check out our Drone Deploy troubleshooting video where we go over how to get everything set up and working properly. Once your drone is connected, the blue save button will turn into a blue fly button. Drone Deploy will check to make sure everything is a go, and then you can tap on the blue check button in the bottom right to send your drone on the automated flight path. During the flight, you can monitor the battery percentage of your drone, the number of pictures it's taken, its altitude, its speed, how far away it is from your return to home point, and the elapsed time of the flight. You can also see a live preview of where your drone is on the map. After your drone has completed the flight path, it will automatically return home. The last step is to upload the images on the Drone Deploy website. Drone Deploy will process the images and generate a map with the data. This really cool and incredibly powerful software does come at a cost. So Drone Deploy offers three main plans, the Explorer plan, the Pro plan, and the Business plan. You can compare all the plans and their pricing online, but to give you a lowdown, the Explorer plan is free and includes five maps per month with up to 500 photos per map. The Pro plan is $999 per year or $99 per month and includes unlimited maps with up to 1,000 images per map. And the business plan is $2,999 per year or $299 per month and includes unlimited maps per month with up to 3,000 images per map. So at the end of the day, is Drone Deploy worth it? It's professional software, which is incredibly powerful, but in my opinion, it also comes with a premium price tag. I think whether or not Drone Deploy is worth it really boils down to what use case it has for either you or your company. To me, Drone Deploy seems ideal for the agriculture and construction industries. You can get additional apps for more advanced analysis of your mapping data, 
and with the ability to see plant health and measure areas and volumes built in, Drone Deploy appears to have been built and optimized for farmers or construction workers. You do get a one month free trial of the Pro Plan when you first sign up. So if Drone Deploy is something you or your company is considering, definitely sign up and give it a try to see how well it can work for you. So that wraps up this video. Hopefully you were able to learn more about Drone Deploy, what it is, what it does, and how it works. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to give it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.